Hi guys, I'm Katie Wellborn. I'm Ashley Younghouse. And I'm Jimmy Tegeloff. And today we will be doing our group case study on the Facebook breach. Facebook discovered a security issue that allowed hackers to access information that have let them take over over 50 million accounts. Ryan is an employee at Trusty Bank and is having security issues with his online accounts, including Facebook. With the recent Facebook security breach, he's thinking about deleting his account so that this does not happen to him again. He is trying to decide if there are other alternatives to deleting his account or if this is the only way to truly be secure online. Ryan really enjoys the social aspect of Facebook. Facebook recently came out with a security breach where 50 million users were hacked. If Ryan decides to delete his account, he will lose all of his connections with his acquaintances online. Ryan's bank account was also drained during the holidays and someone filed a tax return under his social security number. Obviously, these are all red flags and very concerning because clearly his identity is at risk. Ryan does not know if he wants to delete his Facebook. However, this might be the only way to protect his information. A CNBC article says that Facebook is doubling the number of employees who are working to improve security from 10,000 to 20,000 employees. The company says that there is no need to change passwords. Facebook said it will immediately change users' access tokens. The creator of Facebook posted about how the issue will be taken care of immediately. Facebook posted all of this the day users were noticing they were being hacked to show that they truly do care about the issue. There's is still speculation on whether or not Facebook is actually secure, and Facebook users like Ryan are truly debating on whether or not they should keep their accounts or not. I personally think that this will be a problem that all social media websites will face if they haven't already. According to Business Insider, a recent report published by cybersecurity firm showed that 80 to 90 percent of people that log into retailers' e-commerce sites are hackers using stolen data. This is the highest percentage of any sector. Apparently, 19 percent of consumers would completely stop shopping at a retailer after a breach, and 33 percent would take a break from shopping there for an extended period. This is a very risky subject I believe all companies need to keep in mind. I also believe that users using social media need to take advantage of all private setting options for all of their accounts so this doesn't happen to them. As for three possible recommendations for action that Ryan could take, he could delete his Facebook and all other social media, but then he would risk losing his connections with friends and family. Deleting social media risks losing important connections with friends and family and colleagues. Social media is a good way to keep in contact with people who you do not usually see on a regular basis. So deleting Facebook, again, he would lose connections that he possibly doesn't have a phone number for or sees on a regular basis, which could potentially ruin his connections with people he is keeping in contact with for his work. If Ryan does not decide to delete his Facebook or social media, he can go into his settings and make sure that his security is set just so his friends and personal colleagues can see his information so that there is not a risk of being hacked again. With putting security settings on his profile, he still does risk a potential hack on his account because his information is still out there on the internet, however, he will be able to have more security knowing that just his friends and family and colleagues will be able to contact him even though his information is still on the internet. Ryan can contact Facebook and they will further direct him to the Help Center in which you are able to see if your account has been hacked or not. And I think that is a great idea to have that and it gives you a little more security knowing that you can speak with a professional at Facebook and know if your account is secure or not one-on-one -on -one by talking to someone. Facebook has done a good job of amping up their security employees 
as they went from 10,000 employees to 20,000 employees recently to make sure that all of the people on their platform are safe from being hacked or that there are more people to contact if people want to talk to someone about their own profile so it's more personal. The smartest plan of action would be probably Ryan getting rid of Facebook and moving to a different platform like I said before like Handshake or LinkedIn where he can still connect with his colleagues and work professionally with them and have their numbers and information but he will not be risking his security as he has been hacked and his social media and social security number have been taken before. From personal experience, my Facebook has had issues in the past from security breaches um, about like posting something that I have not even heard about before. So with that, I made sure I didn't have all my my number out there or my email or my birth date or anything and I switched to LinkedIn which I know is secure and has not had a, had any recent security breaches where employers could contact me which is most important in the workforce. As a group we suggest Ryan deletes his Facebook and he uses other social media platforms because he's clearly at risk for security breach He's already gotten his bank account drained and a tax return filed under his social security number. So he's obviously a target online. If he wants to be safe, then he needs to take precautionary measures to avoid things like this happening again. The outcomes of this can be very interesting. Ryan may lose some of his connections. However, it is to protect his own identity, so it's very important that he does this. He can reach out to his connections before deleting his account to make them aware of the switch that he will be implementing. Most of his colleagues should be understanding because it is his identity at risk. And before he deletes Facebook, he can friend all his Facebook friends on LinkedIn to be sure that he does not forget about any of his friends or business contacts. This is important because then he won't be leaving anyone behind or forgetting about anyone. All in all, Ryan's facing a very difficult decision, so his, in his best interest would be to delete Facebook after his past experiences with security. With all the new platforms of social media coming out, Ryan has many options such as LinkedIn, Weebly, Handshake, and many others. Ryan will be very happy about his decision because he knows that he is safe. Safety is a very important thing in life, and nothing is worse than feeling vulnerable, especially on the internet. While many things point to Facebook actually being a very safe social media and that security breaches were a one-time thing, by getting rid of the account, Ryan can be 100% sure that the social, social media will play no role in a security breach in his life. We as a group believe that peace of mind is very important in a thing like this, and Ryan needs to value this above most other things. LinkedIn is a great alternative to Facebook. It's basically a professional version of what Facebook is. It allows you to contact friends and also work colleagues. It also lets you talk to companies as a whole. You can message people directly or indirectly and even upload a profile picture. You can customize your profile to be unique and interesting. Ryan should definitely feel comfortable about making the switch from Facebook to LinkedIn. Handshake also does a very similar thing as LinkedIn you can customize a profile and contact businesses. One thing that Handshake offers that Facebook doesn't is you can find job openings or other business opportunities. Ryan, not only by no means will be missing out on anything if he deletes his Facebook, he will also be improving his status professionally because he'll be able to find possible job openings or opportunities and meet other professional uh, links that might not have Facebook. Thank you for listening to our group case study. I hope you learned the importance of security on social media. Have a great day.